explanation of symbols on worksheets are as follows. Use coloring crayons to color the picture. Use your finger to follow the track or line or show the correct picture. Use a coloring crayon to draw a line or write a number or sound. Look at the picture and say the number or sound out loud. Use a scissors to cut on the dotted line. Look at the picture. Use these symbols for the lesson of the day, which will be allocated at the top right side of each page. For example, lesson one, prepositions and directions. Welcome back friends to my zone online school. My name is teacher Hetty and our theme for um, this lesson is wild animals. Now let's quickly sanitize and we use our sanitizer, spray it on our hands, all over our hands and between our fingers. And let's remember to keep a social distance. Our lesson for today is all about differences and directions. Friends, let's quickly play a game. Simon says, touch your left ear. Touch your left ear. Simon says, touch your right ear. Okay. So now let's turn to page 15 in our workbook. Let's take a quick look there. What is happening with all those animals there? Let's find the animal that's right of the elephant, on the right side of the elephant. Well, I would like to tell you, but you have to figure that one out for yourself. So color the animal right of the elephant green and keep in mind which animal is a green kind of animal and color the elephant brown. Remember your left side and your right side. On page 16 of our workbook, we can take a careful look at what's going on there. Now, if we have to identify differences, let's take a quick look at my board before we continue on the page. Well, here I have an example for you of differences that can be easily identified. I have two animals and I have a shape. Now, let's think about it a little bit. Does a shape fit with animals? Surely it doesn't fit with animals. So the different one would be the shape. The animals fit and the shape does not fit. Now let's turn to the page again. Let's look at the insects. Both have six legs and the fish has fins. Which one does not fit? At the second one, if you take a good look at it, two of them are animals. One an amphibian and the other is a plant. Which one would not fit there? A tree, actually, sorry. And let's quickly take a look at the birds and the lion. Well, two of them have feathers and they can sit on a branch, whilst the other one have a big mane of hair. And the last one, two of them live in the water, whilst the other one lives running around on land. So keep that in mind when you need to find a different one. Enjoy the exercise. Now remember we said we're doing something on differences and directions. Now let's quickly turn to page 17 because I would like you to take a look at that. Now some of the lions are walking one way and the other one is walking another way. Same with the bunnies and same with the hippos. 
Now, I have a good example for you right here on my board. Let's take a quick look. If we look at the direction that the bunnies are going, they are going that direction. Now, the hippo is probably walking in the water this direction, coming towards me. So, the bunnies are going that direction, the hippo is coming this direction. So, they are going left and the hippo is coming right. So, let's look at page 17 again. And on page 17, it's very clear to see which one is going in the other direction. And all you need to do is color the one that is going in the different direction. I hope you enjoy this exercise and if you like to color the rest of the animals, feel free to do so. Well friends, today we learned a lot about wild animals. Now I would like you to turn to page 18 of your workbook. Let's take a quick look at that. Different wild animals loves to eat different kinds of food. Let's take a look at the baboon. What would the baboon like to eat? Yes, maybe bananas. Then you join the baboon with the bananas. And a giraffe? Well, they have a very long neck and they would like to eat all the berries up in the tree. Join the giraffe with the berries. And the meerkat? Yes, you're right. They like to dig in all kinds of holes to find insects to eat. So join the meerkat with the insects. And yes, you guessed it right. The wolf would eat the sheep. So join the two. I hope you enjoyed the exercise and I hope you enjoyed our lesson for today. Well, let's quickly sanitize. We wrap the sanitizer on our hands and all over our hands and between our fingers. And let's remember to keep a social distance. And friends, let's call Zoe to say goodbye. Bye.